you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, it is Legend Saturday. Now, guys, I have a few bangers for you today. Uh, I have my Max Mutt Love Rewards that I have done already, but I didn't want to post it now. Because obviously, Legends are about to come out, so I want to get this video done first. I'll post my Max Mutt Love Rewards after that. I got some free secret pack thing for you guys, and I also have... Uh, I don't remember what the third one is, but I, ha I have four videos coming to you today. So... Stay tuned for all that. If you want to stay tuned for all that, make sure to go down below. Hit the subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell. We're grinding out to 9K. Turn on that noti bell to get notified for all the videos I have coming up today. And comment down below what you think of these legend drops. I'm actually a pretty big fan of one of them specifically. And I'm actually probably going to pick up considering I could use an upgrade at this position. Although I love the card I currently have there. It might be time to upgrade the team. I'm saving up the coin stack right now for when Mud Heroes drop. And I'm going to make a stack team. So when the time comes, I'll start making my upgrades, boys. But today is Legend Saturday, so you know what that means. Cheaper prices on Legends, topped with the fact of max level of rewards and everything else. We got the power pass. We got it's gonna be it's gonna be a good day. Got a lot to do with my team. Got a busy day ahead of me. So gonna get into these legends in a second. But before we do, guys, make sure to comment down below what level you guys are, your level grind so far. I'm kinda curious to see what the consensus is to the community of where everyone's at right now. And comment down below when you see the legends, what you think of these. So I really do like one of them, like I said. I'm a big fan of one of them. It is, to disclose it now, it is Shannon Sharp. So Shannon Sharp's one of the legend drops, and he's looking pretty awesome, honestly, because Shannon Sharp, you guys know, he's always the athletic tight end. He's not the, t the stereotypical slow, can catch blocking tight end. He's like, he's usually one of those athletic tight ends that can do it all. He can decently block, he's fast, he can catch, he can route run. He's kind of like another wide receiver at tight end, so I'm kind of hyped to get him. I think I'll have to end up going with his power, though I probably won't buy his full card because i really love the whole power up system this year i like how randy moss comes out i just power him up get a 90 randy moss for a lot cheaper and they have very similar stats as long as it's not in a position where i need to use the third ability slot so to sum that all up like if it was a running back i want his ability slot so i'd never power up a legend running back because i can't get his legend slots but like a tight end i'm not going to put abilities on him anyways so i don't really care to not have it a wide receiver I'm not going to put abilities on him most likely anyways so i don't really care all i care about is quarterbacks and running backs for now i haven't figured out what third position on offense i want but as a whole i love the whole power system the second guy i've not seen a stat yet so we'll get into that in a second i'll go see his name in about a second but guys let's head over onto twitter go over all their stats and go check everything out don't forget to like let's get this video to 200 likes boys over to twitter all right guys so the first legend drop before we get to shan sharp is kevin green i remembered his hair and his face and who he was and i cannot remember his name at the time but this card actually doesn't look too bad. I kind of really like it, actually. It reminds me of another card that I have on my team. But I'll go over this in a second. So he has that little arrow pointing forward archetype. Again, I'm not, I haven't really dove into all the archetypes yet, so I couldn't give you too much information on that. His salary cap is 37 for all you salary cap guys. Don't get into that yet, but again, I know a lot of you guys do play that. So now this Kevin Green is a 91 overall, so if you did power him up, you would get an 89 Kevin Green, which is why I think I'll probably end up powering up Shannon Sharp to get that stud tight end. Now he's six foot three at outside linebacker. That's a good height, perfect height for an outside linebacker. 83 speed, so that's pretty good because Kevin Green card typically his first legend card never has above 80 speed, or at least saw, he'll probably have like 81, 80 base. So 83 is actually a little bit higher for him. 85 acceleration. This card reminds me a lot of Von Miller so far, looking at the stats minus the block shed. But he's got 87 strength, so really good strength. 86 tackle, 87 play rec, 80 block shedding. So so far. That play rec's pretty amazing. If you power this guy up and you chem him up, he'll hit threshold play rec. His tackle's really high. He's fast. He can block shed. I wish the block shedding was a bit higher, but you know, I'll handle it. And finesse moves 91 and power moves 87. So he can pass rush. He can play the run. I can't imagine his zone will be too high. But again, all I really care about on my outside linebackers is they're typically an extra end. Now, for me, I don't think I'd use this card because I already have Von Miller and Lawrence Taylor, which a lot of you guys do. And even if I didn't have Von Miller, I'm kind of getting annoyed of having two rushing outside linebackers because I typically only rush one and the other one has to sit in zone and their liabilities in zone. So in the future, I might have to upgrade at one of my outside linebackers, preferably the Von Miller spot and put a zone guy there at some point, like a Leighton Van Der Esch when he gets upgraded cards. But for the time being, this card, it looks like Von Miller-esque, has threshold finesse moves, really good play rec really good speed really good everything he's a very well-rounded card i really do like him well i have him on my team probably not like i said we all have free von millers so it's hard to justify switching over from von miller and going to a new card but for the most part 
I'd recommend. If you guys don't have Von Miller, you need an outside linebacker, maybe power him up to his 89. His 89 car would probably have like an 82 speed, 84 excel, 85 strength, 84 tackle, like an 85 play rec, 79 block shedding, 85 power movement, probably, probably an 88 finesse. So he'd still be very, very good for a fraction of the price. His cars would probably sell initially for like 600K, 700K when they start when they come down and then eventually be around the 500K range, but not for the time being. Now let's head on over to Shannon Sharp right here with the arrow there we go shannon sharp 91 overall tight end he's on the broncos in this car that's typical what he is you see his chain right there it's actually it's some pretty cool card on honestly now he's got hands look mime looking hands as his archetype again don't know what that is his salary cap is a 41 so he's a bit higher than kevin green for you salary cap guys now coming over he is okay his card says 42 salary cap and here it says 41 that doesn't make much sense 91 overall tight end he's six foot two so he's not the tallest tight end but again, I don't really care about his height usually when it comes to Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp's usually an athletic beast. He's got 84 speed. Now, the only issue with that 84 speed is that I wish it was slightly higher because guys like George Kittle have very similar speed, but he has way better catching and route running than George Kittle. So I can't really complain about that. His powered up card probably have an 83, but I'll go over all that in a second. He's got 81 strength, 87 catching, 90 catch traffic, 84 spec. So he reaches the threshold in catch and traffic. With the proper cameras he getting powered up, he can reach the catching threshold. His spec catch is pretty good. His 85 route running, short and medium, is really good for a tight end at least. Because if you guys know anything about tight ends, they typically get open in space a lot. Now, the only issue with guys like Kittle and Kelsey is that their route running is not a great or they're not that fast. So, I mean, Kittle kind of is, but for Kittle, he's too bulky. So, like, he doesn't make good cuts, so it kind of hurts. But a guy like Sharp, he makes wide receiver cuts on linebackers. And trust me, you feel the difference on that. I've always loved Sharp in the Madden franchise for that reason, because he always has a mismatch being a tight end. And if he can make a sharp cut, he could be off to the races with that speed. Do a little out route. I always love sharp for that reason. And he's got 72 run blocking. Kind of wish that was a little higher. Because one of the big selling points on kill for me is that he has above 80 run blocking. Now, if you power this card up, he'd probably have about an 83 speed, 80 strength, 85 catching, 87 catch in traffic, 82 spec catch, 84 route running across the board, and probably 70 run blocking. So that card would not be bad. 89 overall tight end. I might just get him anyways because I could use a second tight end. The way I run my offense, I typically have multiple tight ends in, and nothing's more frustrating than playing weekend league with 64 overall power of Travis Kelsey. Not gonna lie, I do target him too because he always gets open. And see, my Madden brain and my mat and my mutt brain have to be separate because my Madden brain tells me, or my football brain says, Travis Kelsey, good tight end. My mutt brain's gonna tell me he's a 64 overall. That's not the real Kelsey. But I forget here and there, so I should just pick him up anyways. I'll have Kittle as the backup as more of a run blocking tight end, and I'll have Shannon Sharp as like my receiving tight end. And then depending on the play, I could use both. So I really got to make that switch at some point because Kittle is kind of getting a little overmatched at times. Still a beast though, I'm not going to lie, for the speed and the way the game's looking, not too bad. I would highly recommend to a lot of you guys that you power him up just for the sense that he's going to be a beastly tight end. And typically, most teams could even use upwards of three tight ends that actually see the field. So I'd recommend that. Now let's head on over to the Madden screen real quick. Okay, so we're back in the Madden screen, boys. It is Legend Saturday, so there will be Legend Fantasy Packs coming out. Always remember, there's the bundle, and then there's the two five sets. The two five sets will guarantee you two more packs in the bundle for less money, although the bundle guarantees you a topper. So always remember, you gotta weigh that down. The, the bundle comes with eight packs and an 85 plus topper. The two five sets are almost the same amount of money, if not less, and it gets 10 packs. So would you rather have two Legend Fantasy Packs or a bundle topper that's all up to you on that one i don't know some people have good luck in the 85 pluses some don't some prefer the two extra packs it really all depends on your preference as a player and how much you want to spend i will not be personally opening up packs i will just take my butt over here to the legend challenges like i recommend you guys do head over to legend challenge when it drops remember if you get the power-ups nice and early you could sell them for a better price so if you play legend challenges at 10 30 the second they drop you could most likely sell shannon sharp for almost like 20k off the bat it's a pretty good way to make coins every week you just play both solos right away play the more valuable one such as sharp right away sell them right away and then wait a few hours like randy moss was selling for like 50k and then literally 30 minutes later when everyone played the solos he was going for 6k and i bought him so that's my recommendation play the solos quickly get the card sell them as fast as you can and if he's below 10k then forget it but if you get it in done time sell them as fast as you can and then all you got to do is just wait until the thing drops in price and you go buy the one you want that's how i like to run this i won't be powering up kevin green but i will be powering up shannon sharp definitely i did like his stats and i kind of want to see how a mismatch a tight end will work for me because i do get tight ends open a lot in the way i run my offense and having kittle as an offensive guy isn't the best he's good at catching He's good at run blocking, which is great, but I do feel it sometimes when he literally gets outran by the defender. And he's he's not he's sneaky fast though, Kittle. He's got an 82 speed, but with the game, the way the game's improving, 
I think it's time for the new tight end, guys. That's about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to 100 likes. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that noti bell, boys. Subscribe to 9K. Comment down below which of the two legends you're probably going to be picking up. And that's it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of the uploads. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.